everybody and welcome to Bali. So we have arrived, we actually arrived yesterday but I didn't pick up my camera yesterday because I was literally a walking zombie. <laughs> I, I couldn't actually hold myself up. I actually missed a whole night because of the time difference so I was dying but I tried to stay awake till last night to just kind of try and get into the body clock. We did wake up this morning at half past five. No, actually I woke up at quarter to five in the morn. It was still dark outside. Watch the sun come up slightly. I mean, the sun sets here. So as you can see, look at this gorge view. So we're currently in an Airbnb. The sun actually sets this side, but so we don't actually get sunrise, but we saw sunset last night and I will hopefully show you today. Actually, no, tonight I think we may be going somewhere for some sunset drinks, so we'll see. But yes, we're here, and I'm currently sat in this straw circle. <laughs> look at this, look at this, you can actually see. That is literally the coolest thing. And it is so much comfier than I thought it was gonna be. I saw this yesterday when we arrived, and I was like, mm, cute, looks aesthetic, but it's probably not very comfy. But basically, now I've gone for a jog. I wasn't vibing with the gym today. I'm literally so tired still, because I only got about six hours last night. And um, I just thought it'd be best to leave it today, and maybe we'll go. Maybe tomorrow I'll go for a jog with Niall or maybe I'll do one of my Peach Plan home workouts, we'll see. So, I thought I'd come down here, have a bit of a read in my straw circle. <laughs> Look at it. So yes, we're finally here. It took almost 24 hours, but it's worth it. Bali is literally one of our favorite places in the world, so I can't wait to bring you along. Today, we are going to the monkey forest. So of course I'm bringing you, can't wait. One of my favorite things we did last year when we were here, the monkey forest in Ubud is the best thing in the world because they're just free wild monkeys. I mean, it's a bit scary because they do kind of jump on you. Last year, them actually came and grabbed Niall's water bottle out of his hand and just like tugged it until he let go and then ran off through the trees with it under his armpit. So it was very cute, but it is a little bit scary, but it's also just amazing seeing them in the wild. So we're very excited about that. We're gonna go for breakfast soon as well. I have just washed my hair by the way, I'm not just a grease ball. We're gonna go for some breakfast at a place called The Clear Cafe because I've heard it's good. It's got a nice menu. I think actually some of the tables are on the floor as well, so I'm excited about that. Yeah, we'll just see how the day goes, we'll bring you along. I think we might chill this afternoon because I'm feeling like naps are gonna be needed. <laughs> so I think we might find like a pool bar because yesterday we found a really nice one called um, Folk in Ubud and we just kind of sat by the pool and ate and drunk so it was nice so we might do that this afternoon somewhere else we'll see we're currently staying in an airbnb we're just doing two nights here and then we're, we're kind of moving around a little bit while we're here i don't really know why it's what we did last year and we just decided to do it again i guess it's just nice to experience different locations but this location is absolutely gorge we're kind of in the rice fields yeah i would say we're in the rice fields I don't really know why it's wet down there though, because it hasn't rained. I'm <laughs> like, where have you come from? Because it's very hot here. Might sound really stupid saying that, but they give you a little tour. Might as well do a little tour. So, this is what it looks like from over here. It's very small, but it's literally all you need. It's very kind of boho jungle vibes. We'll link the Airbnb down below. And actually, lots of you guys have been asking me how I book Bali, because they're wondering like whether to do it for an estate agent or, you know, just to do it by, yourself or through a hotel. Me and Niall, as I said, hop around and we do tend to find most of ours on Airbnb because there's some amazing Airbnbs. And some of them are really, really cheap. Some of them aren't so much. There's some literally the same ones. Like this one is so cute. I'm obsessed. It's a, it's a vibe. <laughs> so let's give you a show. So basically, this is it. We've got the slidey wooden doors, which I feel is a, is kind of a thing here, isn't it? It's a little bit of a mess and we haven't unpacked because we're moving tomorrow, so yes, just so you know. And obviously we've slept in the bed so it doesn't look quite as cute, but if you see what I mean, let me get you here. Boho vibing. <laughs> I feel like this colour combo is nice, isn't it? Like golds, whitey creams, wood. And then when you come out here, we've got this little terrace bit. Some bean bags, love a good bean bag. This is really cool as well. They love their hanging chairs here. <laughs> and then through here, we've actually got a little kitchen. We haven't used it. Niall did make a coffee this morning and a big fridge. Look at this bath. Now that is a bath when you see a bath. And I love a good bath. I don't actually know if I'm gonna have time now before we go from this Airbnb though to use it. And I'm very sad about that. So I may have to try to make use because this has got a bit of steam because I obviously had a shower, but usually you can see 
palm trees. Imagine that sunset. Palm tree sunset bath. Love it. And then um, we've got this big, here's me, I'm in my donut bikini, look. Oh, boob. <laughs> and um, we've got a big shower here. Toilet. Ali just tends to have exceptional interior and especially bathrooms. I feel like bathrooms is Bali's thing. That's my little tour of this Airbnb and I'm vibing. So we're in Ubud at the moment, which is sort of the jungly part of Bali. I'm gonna sit in the other chair now. <laughs> so yeah, we're in Ubud at the moment, which is the jungle. Ooh, what's that in the tree? It looks kind of like a rat with a long tail. <laughs> we were saying it'd be so funny if monkeys just started appearing. I wish it would happen, but I think they're a little bit further away. We are currently in Ubud, which is the jungly bit. Highly recommend if you're coming to Bali to visit Ubud, it's so nice. And then later on the trip, we're gonna go down to the bottom of the island to the more beachy area. So I think more beach clubs then. But at the moment, jungle, monkeys, coconuts, vibing. Actually, I think there's a lot of monkeys down in Uluwatu as well, so very excited about that. So yes. Anyway, I will see you when Nana gets back or when we leave for breakfast. We of course got our scooter again. It's a little bit scary in Bali because the roads are absolutely all over the place here. There's literally no system. So, yes, wish us luck. Time has gone and I grew up. I somehow made it through without losing sight. Mm. And I still wonder where you are. And if so you we've arrived at the monkey forest. Feeling a little bit nervous because last You're year. Scared. No, but last year when we came, I only brought like a teeny, teeny bag because they say that they steal things. Yeah. The only thing they sold last year, as I told you, was Nan's water bottle. Oh, do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> you swung into the trees. <laughs> that was quite scary. Yeah, that was quite scary. So um, I'm a little bit scared because my bag doesn't have a zip. So I'm half gonna have to be like one of those gals protecting there. Oh, we're going into a tunnel. <laughs> you can't see me. Where have I gone? Hang on. I literally can't see anything with <laughs> my glasses on. <laughs> Oh, oh, we're coming. It's the, the first monkey, is, is it going to be what makes me nervous again? <laughs> oh, I can see one. Right, we've found the first big bunch. That one's having an itch. <laughs> Look cute they are. Oh, he's having a little nibble. Oh, another scratch. Oh, look at him. <laughs> right, so we've come down a bit further in now. We're on the hunt for some more monkeys. Actually, one sat over there, but he's a bit far away. But look at this. This place is just... Insane. Look at this. Obsessed. Little fam. Mum's had enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're so cute. She literally looks like she hates her life. Baby monkey on the run. Big monkey having a <laughs> feel of himself. Lovely. Oh no, he's cleaning himself. <laughs> I can't believe their mannerisms. They're literally humans. Look how cute. This teeny little monkey is. Oh, look at him. He's so. Oh, look, he can't even walk properly. Oh, look at him. He's so small. That must be his mum. Oh, I gave him a kiss. Right, I'm starting to feel a little bit more on edge. I feel like the monkeys were all very calm and now they're starting to get a little bit sassy, aren't they? I was literally sat next to one and then loads of them started clucking at me <laughs> and now I feel like just very on edge. One clucked at you. And then they all joined in. Did they? Did you look at their faces? There was evil in their eyes. <laughs> they were like <laughs> So um, Your fear in your eyes. Yeah and we also saw a woman who had a scratch on her ear or a bite. She wasn't sure so that worried me slightly because we have not had any jabs. <laughs> so I don't want to have rabies but um, we're currently just having a little walk through here. Going back through this woody bit, this bit's like the really pretty bit. The thing is, the monkeys seem to be way more sort of in the wild, not in the human path section this time, which is good, I guess, but you know, you just see slightly less, but we're gonna go and hunt for some more, aren't we? Yeah. I really, really want to challenge myself to have one on my shoulder and not panic, but I feel like I don't have it in me. They're all having a bath. See how fluffy this one is, I don't know if you can tell. That is one fluffy monkey. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Oh. <laughs> Soggy. Oh, bless them. Oh, he's going, he's in. He's in. <laughs> oh. oh. I'm gonna go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 oh my god! 
That's so cute. Oh. <laughs> He's head under. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I've never seen them do that. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, children, stop this. We are now currently at a place called Jungle Fish, which is basically like a pool bar, eat the food, all of that, you know. I don't feel like I film that much in the monkey forest because the only thing is, <laughs> when I do get a bit nervous and after they cl clucked at me, I was very on edge. Now said I had like a sudden adrenaline shock and my heart was a bit on edge, so... <laughs> I didn't really get You're my okay camera now. out. Yeah, I'm okay. I just had a bit of a jittery heart. So after that, I didn't really film that much. So I feel, I feel like I didn't film much. I didn't get the monkey on my shoulder. One of them let Niall last year and I was too scared. But this year I felt like I had some confidence, but it didn't happen. After they clicked at me, that was it. But yes, we are now at a place called Jungle Fish. So we're currently walking in. Thought I'd show you a bit of it. So, so cool, yeah. I think we're just gonna like spend, yeah, it's very boho chic. It's very much in the middle of nowhere. The one we went to yesterday, Folk, yeah, was much trek, more, it? yeah, it was a bit of a track here. It was much more in the town, the one yesterday, but I think we're just gonna spend the day here now, get some food. I think I'm gonna have a couple of drinks. I feel a little bit more alive today than yesterday. Yesterday I didn't have any drinks. That's a shock for a holiday. This pool has a really good view too, let me see. Where's the pool at? I think that's the restaurant. But where's, there's the pool, look at it. Very fancy. I hope there's a sunbed though. I feel like the sunbeds might all be taken. This is the only issue. How pretty is this, look. Middle of jungle, pool party, but relaxing one. Formal pool party. <laughs> Please be a sunbed, need a sunbed. I don't think there's gonna be. So sad if there isn't. So we have found our little spot on this little day bed. Sun has gone in though, which is a bit annoying, but our lunch has just arrived. So Niall's having a beef salad. Why are you laughing? I got a beef salad. Yeah, Niall's on the salads, so he's conscious of his figure. <laughs> and then I've got a chicken panini and chips. And I completely expect Niall will eat my chips. <laughs> So, one or two. What's the point in a lettuce wrap with beef? Actually, it does look really nice. And I did also have a porn star martini, but I already drank it. So yeah, that's a little update on today. Just chilling here in my donut bikini. Had a porn star. <laughs> Had a porn star. That always sounds so weird when you talk about porn star martini. Say a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> my may order a GNT. Have you drank yours? Is it nice? Is it good? GNT. Pretty much all the same. No, you can have a good or a bad. I mean, it's alright. Oh, abs. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> good morning, everybody. It is now the next day, and me and Niall are currently walking up the steps because we're about to go on a run. So I thought I'd bring you a little bit on it. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to be, to be honest, because I'm not much of a runner. I like sprinting, but that's very short and quick. We're just going for I'm out of breath going up the stairs. Yeah, we're just going for a quark, quark, a short, quick one. I went yesterday and it was Yeah, and I amazing. went yesterday and he said, it, he walked back in and he was like, that was amazing. So I thought I'd come today and see what yeah, it's all about. And give you a quick show, because I think it's quite pretty. There's lots of ducks, apparently, so I want to show you. Last night I did have a few drinks though, so I'm feeling a little bit alcoholified. Alcohol I was, I was yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting, basically. I thought I'd tell you my outfit as well while we're here, because I think it's quite a nice combo. So I've got on my new Lulu bra, which was in the sale. I got it in my last vid, if you saw it. And then I've got my new cut out legging shorts from my Gymshark leggings, which I think that's such a nice colour combo. What are we thinking? It's a bit clashy, but I like it. So yes, anyway, Niall's got his headphones and I don't, so I'm just going to be a loner at the back, talking to my camera out of breath. I probably won't be talking, I'll probably just be showing you the views. But yes, I thought I'd say good morning, welcome to day two. Yesterday, to be honest, I was feeling a little bit strange. I don't know why, I woke up to some weird comments on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, I was talking about it on there. Um, and it kind of started my day off to a bit of a weird one. So I just had a little bit of a negative mindset yesterday and I was really annoyed at myself because we're in Bali. So I was kind of beating myself up about being negative 
which is a bit stupid really <laughs> but I know lots of us do it so yes but I'm feeling much better today I woke up on a good note Niall said something nice to me when I woke up didn't you what what did you say you what, like, today yeah you said something nice I just called you beautiful because you are <laughs> so you're have no, but a you, I day. feel like you did that because you wanted me to start off on a good note. Yeah, I did. So that's a good thing happy to say. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Not your wife yet, though. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to start someone's day off to a good start, send them a nice morning text. Right, we're off. I'm all right at the moment. I need a few steps, but I'm a little bit scared because Niall says it's a lot uphill, which is not a bit of me. <laughs> I find that slow jogging like this, just constant, not like intervals. Maybe I'll do intervals, but I find that when it's just like constant jogging like this at quite like a casual pace, it's so much harder. But I think if I was by myself, I'd be doing some little runs and then go, oh, we've already stopped. Oh, I'd be doing some little runs and then I'd be doing some walks in between. So you can create intervals, can't you? Yeah. I just felt like having a bit of a sweat this morning because I haven't for a few days now. Why are we stopping? Oh, I will show you more when I see more. I hope you can see me because my camera keeps going really dark. Oh, there's some, there's some. Hen. Is it just me? Or is it hard to agree? With what you're trying to explain? I don't mind feather wings, no diamond rings. That's get your duck happy. out <laughs> look at them all having a morning stroll morning chit chat so we have made it our full way i don't know if you can see my sweaty face there you kind of can so we're now heading back just a quite nice just little short jog <laughs> don't think i could do too much because it's very still in the rice fields it's absolutely gorgeous though such a nice way to start your day start your day with a nice text whether it's someone giving it to you or you giving it to someone else, because it is true, when you make people happy, it makes you happy too. That rhymes, I sound like such a weirdo. And a quick little sweat, whether it's 10, whether it's 20, whether it's an hour, whatever you fancy, it's, oh, Niall's gone. <laughs> it's just a nice way to start your day. So we have come to some breakfast. Ketchup with eggs royale. I always have ketchup with my eggs, everybody always disses me. So we've come to breakfast at a place called Waterfest in Ubud. I think I would recommend. I mean, I haven't eaten the food yet, it's just arrived, but the whole vibe's just really chilled, isn't it? Let me see if I can show you. So, we're on the top floor, it's not actually as empty as this. So this morning, I'm having some eggs Benny with salmon, so is Niall, and we've actually both ordered a smoothie bowl to share. Niall's got his stupid turmeric shots again. Well, they've got good eggs there. Oh, oh, that's a good squid, squidgy egg. And I've got myself coconut ice latte, which is my fave. And Niall's got himself a coffee over there. Also, just thought I'd say as well, if you're gonna go on a run in Bali in Ubud in the rice fields, be wary because the dogs are a bit scary. And I saw a shedded snake. We saw its skin on the road. It's a bit scary. But we made it. It was a lovely run and it was quite short, but it was just nice to have something little just to get as well. And all my batch about to run out, but I just thought I'd let you know. Also, got my new throw on. Throw? <laughs> sort of throw. Beach cover up from Prima. Saw the last bit. Orange. Right, so I think we finally found a little area in the rice fields. We did actually go to the really touristy bit with a big swing but I'll pop in a little clip of it actually because it was really pretty but just a little bit touristy and nowhere really to sit and we just wanted to sit because we we bought a, a bottle of wine. Now I can't have too much because he's driving but basically we're just celebrating a few things going on in life that have we've been meaning to celebrate for a while and we just thought it'd be nice to sit in the rice fields because they're absolutely gorge. I feel so out of breath and I don't know why. Not too shabby. So I think what we're gonna do is just have a sit with a glass of wine and just chill. Yeah, just one for Niall, 10 for me. Where should we sit though? Should we sit on grass? Yeah. Maybe we should, we should try and sit on one of those little middle sections. But I'm scared that I'm gonna sit on a snake. It's like a bit like this. 
Yeah, but what if there's snakes? I'm a little bit worried. So we didn't bring a picnic blanket. We were originally going to bring a picnic as well, but then we just decided not to because we had quite a big breakfast. And we're having quite an early dinner, we hope at the new place that we're staying in the Udea. We might have a candlelit dinner. We had one last year, so nice. So I think we might do that at like six so we can try and catch the sunset. So that's really not very long from now. So yes, we're gonna find our spot and have a chill. That's not how you get to me, no. We could sit in the shade, talk to late, and then We'll see We can go for walks Stroll down the city park And maybe just There's been a little bit of a turn of events since I last saw you <laughs> um, There's a new addition to my hand To the family <laughs> To the family? We're not having a baby So we're engaged we literally just like it just happened and I just can't believe it literally thought I was celebrating something else as I was saying <laughs> But we were celebrating this it's my fiance I think I'm, we're gonna do like a different video more about it But obviously I'm gonna mention it in the vlog that has happened because there's a new edition You can't not mention it <laughs> but Yeah, basically we just got engaged. I can't believe I that's just sounds I still just think that's so weird to say You're happy. Yeah <laughs> I can't believe we're engaged. <laughs> so weird. <gasps> yeah, change of events. Didn't think that was going to happen. Didn't see that one coming. Yeah, I just feel a little bit. <laughs> So, um, yeah, <laughs> say that again. I don't know what to say. Say that one more time. Well, we, we got to the Udea, which is oh, our yeah. new, our okay, new, so our new place. Okay, so we're sat at the Udea having there. espresso martinis. We, we actually, because we were out for quite a while earlier, we hadn't even We forgot about lunch, because we, we, we got didn't tracks. really do lunch. So we got a margarita pizza, which Miles just demolished while, while we've been sat <laughs> Just me, you as well. And I thought, why not push the boat out and celebrate with a couple of espresso martinis? So yeah, that's what we're so doing. We're currently at the Udea though. Not a bad really place. Engaged. Not a bad place to celebrate in a game. Yeah, we're at one of our favourite places, to be honest. This is like the nicest resort. I feel bad that I'm not talking to you more about the engagement, but I think I'm going to do a separate video just chatting more about the little story. <laughs> so, um, yeah, go see that if you haven't seen that. But this is the ring. I feel like I didn't show you enough of the ring. Let me show you the ring better. This is the ring. Look how pretty it is! Like a pale green colour, which I've always wanted since I was little. I don't really know why. It's going in and out of focus. Doesn't understand. Absolutely gorgeous. Can't believe it. And it fits. But yes, this is the Udea. He saw my Bali vids last year. We came here last year and they've kindly invited us here again for two nights, which is so nice. So it is absolutely lovely. I'm sure you've seen it on Instagram from somebody because quite a lot of people come here and it's just lovely. So this is the bedroom obviously, and then we've got the bathroom. Exceptional bathroom. So we've got bath, we've got this massive his and hers. Love it. Actually there's an there's a I feel like there's two showers. Yeah, there's one shower there. And there's a little stony shower in here. And a little toilet in here. And yeah, lots of storage. Lovely. So yes, I, I just feel a little bit out of it at the moment to be honest and I wasn't sure how I was gonna start vlogging again to be honest like it's been a few hours I just didn't know what to do I felt like we, we obviously just wanted to enjoy the moment as well we sat in the rice field for about an hour just like both saying like what the hell just happened like what the hell and I think Niall was sort of relieved that he'd done it because I think he's been a bit nervous all day he says haven't you been what? a bit nervous today. A bit on edge. <laughs> bit on edge. I'm glad. Well, obviously I enjoyed doing it, but I'm glad it's over. <laughs> Well, no, that we can just, you know, we're yeah. in Bali. So I think we're, we're so weird. Literally can't believe it. Weird. So yes, I think. Do you know what? I really feel like I want to tell Bluebell. <laughs> I know. I wish I could like ring up Bluebell. But I guess we'll have to wait till we get home. So yes. I think we're going to probably get ready soon, aren't we? Because we've got some candlelit dinner tonight here. Some. We've got, got about an hour. an hour, so we're gonna have a candlelit dinner and oh, celebrate. It's a happy hour. Oh yeah, it's happy hour. Do you probably got a happy hour on them? No, it's from five to seven. Oh god damn. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> Ten minutes. Two for one. So I think maybe, maybe we'll get ready then, and then um, we'll go get drunk. Go and have. Yeah, we're gonna get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and 
have a sophisticated drunk candlelit dinner to celebrate and I'll probably bring you for a little bit maybe we'll go into a montage literally my montage earlier turned out differently to what I was expecting so turned out pretty fucking well you know yeah, it did. I wouldn't complain <laughs> all right you can put the ring away yeah. now is this what you're going to be in every video? It's just going to sit like this. Uh, but an itchy forehead. <laughs> I'm itchy right now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know which hand this was supposed to go on, Nyla, to tell me. Luckily, I did. <laughs> So, I am ready to go for our sunset dinner. Well, actually not sunset, candlelit dinner. I don't think there's gonna be a sunset today because it looks a little bit cloudy, but it'll still be lovely. So, I popped on this yellow dress. It's an old one from PLT. Everybody thought it was actually a cord when I wore it before, I think last year when I was in Greece, but it's not, it's a dress, as you can see. <laughs> and I thought it, was it would be nice to just kind of dress up a little bit tonight because we're celebrating. <laughs> My mum actually just texted me saying she's gonna buy my wedding dress, so I'm very excited about that. Are you ready, fiance? I'm ready. I'm ready. Fiance! I said, did you hear what I said? I heard you. You ready, fiance? fiance. <laughs> Take my hand, come on, let's go. Good morning, everybody. We just woke up as fiancés for the first time ever. Very exciting. I feel different? Not really. Yeah, I do actually feel a bit different being really? an engaged woman. Yeah. Anyway, good morning. Got woken to some cockerels this morning. I feel a bit like death, if you can tell. We had a little bit too many drinks last night, and I was a bit drunk. Oh, I wasn't that <laughs> drunk. I was tired. He was. Apparently, falling out. asleep means that you're he absolutely. Passed out twice. And you were like, mm, 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 mm. that's like how you talk. It was a long day. It was a lot of stress. It was a day of being in the from bubble. My shoulders. I'm still in the bubble. I'm not leaving it yet. Nah. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, good morning. We are woken. I think we might actually go to the gym for a little bit in a second. So I thought I'd say good morning now. I don't know if I'm going to do much though. I'm just going to have a walk. I think Nile's going to do some weights. I want to start off fiance life with a sick pump. What better way sick. could you start? I'm starving though because yesterday at dinner I just had no appetite because I just had such a like nervy feeling all day, like butterfly feeling. I literally barely ate anything yesterday. Our dinner was really nice though and yeah, it was a really nice dinner, wasn't it? And then we had some drinks. Oh yeah. But yes, I'm starving so I can't wait for our floating breakfast in the pool. We've got lots of things coming. We've got some pastries, we've got some French toast got some eggs, we've got juices, just, fruit, I just Yeah, just went coffees. down to add more to the order. Yeah. We realised we were a bit hungover, we want some fruit in our lives. Yes, so I'm very excited for that. First morning of being a fiancé. Morning. Morning. All right, Gav. Morning. Morning. We're going to show off all the time. Sorry, I'm such a show off. Hell of a rock. <laughs> Hell of a rock. Are you going to wear that to the gym? No, I don't yeah, think I'll wear it to You don't need to lift gym. any weights with that on your finger. <laughs> Oh, every time you lift your your, fa your hand up to your face, it's like doing a bloody bicep curl with 30 kg dumbbell. Oh, there. Shut up. The hell of the rock quote though is hell because um, my best friend Bri, that was her reaction when I sent her a picture, <laughs> and she's got a funny voice. Well, that's a bit mean, but she's just funny. Our floating breakfast on our newly engaged morn has arrived. This is like the perfect way to spend a newly engaged day, isn't it? So it's arrived, as I told you, we have French toast. We've got eggs, Niles got scrambled and bacon. I've got poached and honey ham. We've got pastries. Oh wait, we're not getting fruit too. Oh yeah. I think we're supposed to have some fruit coming as well, but maybe they forgot. Oh, wow. And then we've got orange juices, we've got coffees. Good to go. So I think we're gonna get in the pool. As newly engaged people. I'm literally just going to rinse that so badly. I'm sorry that I've kind of rinsed it, but you know, it's quite an exciting moment. I think I'm going to leave you here on um, this first Bali vlog. I really hope you enjoyed. Bit of a change of events, not expecting. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed it. And obviously we love sharing things like this with you guys because 
We love you very much, don't we? Oh, yeah, I love you lots. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you think. Give us a comment. And we will see you in Bali vlog number two. I don't know when, what day. I'm not sure what's going on with all the uploads. It's a bit all over the place, so we'll have to see. But there'll be a second Bali vlog as well. Probably in a beachy area of Bali too. And we'll give some little recommendations at the end of that video, like a roundup of things we recommend in Bali, because I know lots of you guys would like to know. So, hopefully, see you then. We could go for